Hello everyone. In this video we will see working of border layout in Java. So border layout actually can place component in frame at five position. Uh, so if we assume this screen as a frame, so it can place component along one of its border like one component along with top border or bottom border left border right border and the center so in this example we will see how border layout works so first we need to import swing package and then we will import awt this awt package we need to import because uh, all layout managers are available in awt then i am creating a simple class let's say my demo and in this class i will define main method and here i will create a frame so this will be the title of frame and by default frame is not visible so we will make it visible by calling this method set visible true i will set its size let's say 400 400 and in order to terminate our uh, our application when user press close button on frame we will set default close operation exit on close so now uh, we will create one button and let's say we will print yes so border layout actually used by default if our frame is not having any layout manager explicitly defined so in that case by default border layout is used so for our frame jf layout manager is border layout and let's say we will add button jb in frame so uh, you need to remember it that uh, this is actually not a compulsion but whenever you uh, add all the component after then we will set our frame visibility of our frame to true okay so let's see the output so we will compile this file demo.java because uh, we have saved this file with demo.java we will compile it and for execution we need to use this class name because this class is having main method so my demo so here if you can see by default our button actually filled in entire frame okay so let's say what we want to do we want to place our button along with top border so in that case we need to specify the position so this position is actually known as page start so let's see output then it will be clear to you okay so if you can see our button is placed along with top border so this is the first option for the border layout so this actually this vertical direction is considered as page and horizontal direction considered as line so this place is known as page start similarly this this border with bottom border this one will be considered page end and left border along with left border will be considered line start and this will be considered line end and the left space is center so let's see if we change this one page end and if we compile our program again so now our button is placed along with bottom border so if you want to place it with left border we need to specify line start compile it and run it so now our button is placed along with 
left border and for right we will specify line end and in case if you want to put our component in center we will specify here center so by default when we add anything in frame with border layout that will be placed in center and how center works it will put the component in center and it will increase that component in four direction until it will fill the empty place in the frame so for border layout we can say there are five options line start line end and with for top border page start for bottom border page end and center part center so this is border layout which is used by default for frame thank you very much